All right, this is my fourth attempt at making this video. I hope you appreciate the minor effort, especially because I just finished working an overnight shift in the emergency room. Thankfully, it was not crazy, but I wanted to make this video for you guys and not delay not posting videos. So, there's a quick video about my experience with the Pfizer vaccine, my second dose, my symptoms, symptoms from colleagues that I have heard of, and symptoms that you could spread based on research. So, here's just a short clip of the day I received the vaccine. Back to working in the ED. De nuevo a trabajar en la emergencia. Acabo de recibir mis scrubs. I will put them on. And that's it. Back to the COVID era. Just got my second dose vaccine. Mi segunda dosis de la vacuna. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little segment. And as you saw on the thumbnail of this video, is this picture of me receiving the vaccine. That day, I obviously felt like wearing my Superman shirt. <laughs> so, my symptoms. Basically, I had very sore shoulder, very sore. However, I was able to do all my activities without difficulty, but it was very sore. At night, I did, however, have a very mild headache, especially on the right side, but it went away after, I would say, three hours and I was able to go to sleep without difficulty. In the case of some of my colleagues, I know they had myalgias, which are very bad body aches. They had headaches, some of them had fevers, and one of them I heard had actual GI symptoms, maybe nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. But let me tell you what the research says. The research information, I got it from the New England Journal of Medicine, which they published some results on the vaccine. And here on the right, I will put just the picture of the chart with the values and the citation. However, I have the research here and I will tell you the numbers, okay? I will not try to memorize these numbers. So, of course, most people reported a lot more symptoms the second time around on the second dose. Here it says that people from the age of 16 to 55, the, the most common Complaints were fatigue reported by 59% of people and headache by 52% of people. In regards to the older population, greater than 55 years old, 51% reported fatigue and 39% reported headache. Also, in overall, in total, Less than 2% of people reported severe systemic effects. Systemic meaning fevers, chills, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, body aches, headache, etc. And in regards to local reactions, meaning redness, swelling, and soreness of the shoulder, most people reported mild to moderate symptoms. Mild being does not interfere with activity, and moderate means interferes with activity. Does not prevent the activity, but interferes with the activity. So most people just reported mild to moderate. Few people, very few reported actually severe symptoms where they could not perform their activity because of how sore it was. And grade four is people actually went to the emergency department or got hospitalized due to the reaction locally. And that's the research. And that's the quick video. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe like and share and let me know in the comments what do you think what were your symptoms if any okay i hope you enjoy this video stay safe and healthy and let me know what do you think